Uh, okay. Uh, thanks, um, Katie, for recording this segment. I asked for this segment to be recorded. I, I had some prepared remarks, but I wanted to adjust my remarks uh, in response uh, to what Graham said. Yeah. So, so the the space has been created for you to do what you need to do. Because one of the questions which Nick Spencer asked me to do, to address today, is that what am I expecting you guys to do? Uh, and he gave me, uh, and I should talk a bit about my relationship with Nick Spencer later on. He gave me uh, 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 things to think about over the weekend. And I was able to come to a question what I want you to do. Uh, IFOA is an institution and you are a Vanguard group uh, of advocates, yeah. The win is behind you. The capital risk task force report was fully embraced, yeah. And but the, the organization is a bit stuck because the governance and culture is not quite right. But we are slowly amending it and dismantling it. And we could have a special session to discuss that uh, in a different forum uh, about how. But a space is created for you to experiment and and do things, yeah. Uh, to to do things. Uh, um, uh, with, without getting too much permission, without getting too much permission. And I wanted to um, uh, let you know that Ivory is a broad church, uh, is a broad church. Uh, so there will be people who are less activist than you, uh, uh, and they are more traditional, they are more concerned, and, and they don't want the institution to be hijacked, yeah? and they would represent a group of people in IFOA. Uh, whether you agree with them or not, they are a group in IFOA, but they know that the wind is blowing in your direction. And we are looking at you as a vanguard group, So, but we cannot kick the ball straight into the goal. I can pass the ball to Nick, or Graham can pass the ball to Nick, and Nick can score the goal. Or Nick can pass me the ball, I can set, then I can kick the goal. You cannot say that you are the president. How come the Green Finance Report is not even advertised? You do, you do, do you know how difficult that it is to get an article inserted in an actuary magazine? I mean, it's uh, because of the way the governance has been so diffused because it suited our culture at that time that you can't press a button before a report comes out. Why does you need two months in advance before an article to put in? We are living in a new world, but here we are. Here we are. But are we going to offend the actual people? No, we don't. We will engage them, encourage them. So we've got to pass each other the balls correctly so that we can score the goals. Yeah? It is not that it the report has been embraced. Why is it not happening? So all of us got all of us who are interested in change got to learn how to pass the ball because what we have is a systems problem. A system problem with elements in governance and elements in culture. Our orientation is for cautiousness, accuracy, consistency and reticence. If our orientation is towards that, we will want to get it right before we move on. Rules must be crossed, T must be crossed, I's must be dotted, we get it right. And of course, we've got a leverage structure built for that purpose. But the change we require requires courage, imagination, judgment and adaptability uh, and the learning mindset and curiosity and all these will into it but we cannot over force it yeah, because it is not entirely about the facts it's about our own credibility uh, so the whole concept of logos which i talked about yesterday uh, ethos and pathos come to it our tendency is to go for the rules and get more in research. But the reality is that we must be able to change the narrative and the story and also increase our credibility. So therefore we got to, because you need to bring people along. We need to bring at least 75% or 80% of the people along. And we can do this because we are at an inflection point of the history as a society, because sustainability is a big issue. And also we are at an inflection point, I believe in IFOA. I do not know how many executives are in this group. Uh, just Joe, apart from you, who else is listening in? 
Uh, Joe Davis, apart from you, who else is listening from the executive group? I think we just have Katie on the line, who's um, taking the notes. Oh, and we do have Faye as well. Faye's, Faye's from our research team. The, we are not going to deliver this, your strategy of sustainability or VSMD or member value proposition unless there is a fundamental cultural revolution in IFOA. Okay. And we are not going to be the kind of actuaries we want to be uh, making a difference in the, world, in, in the world unless we can reposition our values and mindset from away from the traditional quintessential values of, curious, uh, of cautiousness and accuracy, which are still very important, but create room for new ones. So what we have is, an, it's a, not, I wouldn't say enormous, but it's a significant systems problem. Uh, and if this board, and I'm thinking aloud here. If you're interested in, we are actually, maybe we could have a joint meeting with the actuaries for transformational change, yeah? Because we are working through these issues uh, systematically. Uh, yesterday, I spent, uh, it's yesterday, uh, about an hour with the actuaries uh, COVID-19 response group, which I've never spent time because I'm too uh, much busier now. Ba basically to learn lessons from the actuaries response group. And the word came out was passion. They meet every week. And I actually, when I was there, we meet twice a week or sometimes three times a week. In either way, if I want to arrange a meeting, the next meeting is three weeks away, you know. I, I can't see why it's three weeks away, okay. And one of the feedback from the group is that getting volunteers in, getting um, meetings organized takes too long and too frustrating. And I'm getting permission from them to get that, that paper circulated to the management board. So passion is key. You cannot change the world unless you are prepared to put time in it. And, and, and if you have passion, because you have your purpose, you don't need better purpose now. Your purpose, according to Nick's championship, uh, 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 his, his agenda for, for the sustainability board, I mean, the country is about sustainability, influencing the financial system and thought leadership. So you, you, you have your purpose. What you need is passion. The other thing is trust, trusting one another yeah, and putting time in. Uh, and then, of course, you need expertise. One of the issues of uh, the actuaries task force, the, the formal one, and the volunteers tend to be too junior. They don't have the senior expertise, so it's hard to organize. So they're all caught in there, and it takes too long for them to organize. You do need leadership and expertise in organizing this. Yeah? Um, and the other thing which they talk uh, very uh, strongly about is that you don't have to get it right, 100% right before you go off. But we, we, have, we have a great obsession to get it right yeah, and we try to but actually uh, as i said you know uh, you, you you don't need a hundred percent perfect model to know the ship is sinking right if the ship is sinking is sinking you, you you better do something about it yeah? you don't need to go and measure further yeah you can if you want to at what rate and so forth but 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 there we are so so this is in response to graham's piece yeah which was what Nick uh, asked me to address because I had a conversation with Nick on Friday or Thursday last week uh, and I'm, I'm not reversing my presentation. Uh. He, he, I'm reversing my presentation because there was a second question which he popped at the end of the, maybe you tell us what I want you all to do. So I'm telling you what I want you to do. From an IFA point of view, I can give my speech, but ultimately it's you who would have made the change. You got to be passionate. You got to be trusting you got to put the time and one of the key learning points of the COVID-19 response group was social media you are living in a digital world why do you just take so uh, Nick you are not bad in LinkedIn and LinkedIn is the best community for senior actuaries get the group going and you don't need you don't need somebody else to block for you because if somebody else block you got to agree the words and all that you know you miss the point you should block according to your passion yeah so so you can start tonight. Yeah, so, so that's what I from you. So passion, purpose, trust, not 100% accuracy, courage, and uh, experimentation, and always exercising your judgment. And if you trust your judgment, what other things are better than your own judgment? Yeah, in a space of self-awareness and mindfulness, yeah, in a space of that. So with that, I go back, I still got eight more minutes uh, to my 18 minutes. I got time, I can go back to my... So do you have any uh, questions before I go to my formal opening?
That's grand. Um, any questions or comments? My uh, screen is going a bit slow at the moment, so uh, do uh, self-curate if, if that becomes. But so, does anyone? So you, you okay? I, I have um, I have uh, nine more minutes left. Yeah. So I will I'll tell you the story. Right. Uh, I actually initiated. Uh, I invited myself to all practice boards and corporate boards uh, be, because there was uh, as early as one year ago. And you are the last three. You are the last three. I got finance and investment and pensions, yeah. Uh, because I said that I'm the, going to be the president, and I spoke to past president. I said I want to find out what you guys are doing. That's all. I just want to sit in and hear. But of course, it gave me a lot of um, information about what it's doing and was very useful uh, for the, my strategy work and so forth, yeah. Uh, and that's how we asked. And 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 Nick asked. Uh, uh, in an earlier part of the conversation last week, say I could talk about VSMD, and I'm going to say it in a very quick way what VSMD is. But Nick, I knew Nick uh, uh, very accidentally uh, via the Actuaries for Transformational Change, yeah, which is via Nico, uh, Lu Lu Nico, Luis, and Oliver Batiste. Oliver Batiste has a problem to solve, so he wanted the president to to help him get his paper approved or funded. Uh, and Nico obviously brought me in. I say this problem is too. I can't intervene. The, the problem is the system, not the paper. Because if I get, if I intervene to approve that paper, you're not. The system is still going to do that to other papers, yeah. So that's how the actuaries were transformational. I say, who else think like that? So the next Nick, Nick Spencer was pulled in, and BSMD uh, Nick played uh, a significant contributory role to BSMD, uh, and I have a natural um, inclination because I look at the lineage of chairs of this board, which includes Simon Jones, who was in the ATC earlier on, Louis, Nico, Silver, Batiste. Yeah? And there's one person named, I, I can't remember, who was the, the much earlier on. I was trying to find him, but it doesn't matter. There's a good lineage. Yeah? So, but in that group, there are other people uh, on financial systems and on judgment and, and, and so forth on the economics group. But it was a good, but I, I just want to, uh, so, uh, so the original inspiration uh, for BSMD is for is to make our actuaries um, relevant, influential, and effective in our workplace. Impactful, relevant, influential in our workplace. And I thought that the safe and secure box which I landed when I qualify is no longer safe and secure because. Never mind our thought leadership objectives. Our skill sets and mindsets will be hampering us in the fourth industrial revolution. Uh, so because data science has come in and the additional domains have come in in terms of autonomous vehicles, genetics, beer friends, which will impact our traditional domains. So the, the basic inspiration was to secure our future as a profession from a, a, from a workplace point of view. But of course, we have a public interest point of view as well, which is in our industry, which is a financial services industry, and in terms of society, in terms of sustainability. And we have a moral obligation in that regard because, because we call ourselves risk professionals. Because we call ourselves risk professionals. And if we call ourselves risk professionals and and risk professionals must surely believe that whatever they do must be sustainable. That gives us the door into the public interest in a very compelling way. Because you must remember, not everyone is out there to change the world. Yeah, uh, because that belongs to a certain group of us uh, who are inclined that way. But there are people who are more cautious. They are more reticent and they are not so bold as you not bold yeah. but if you tell them this is part of our work because we are risk professional uh, the, the raison d'etre of that argument strengthens considerably yeah because and there's another argument there's another argument about this the young of the world and i was pushed back in the market development and i give great credit to emma fowler this is about securing your future as a profession but what are you doing for the young people of the world who look at you? I will join you. You will help to change the world as we see today. 
the world is in a mess. I thought that was brilliant, is it? That was an outside in approach. We were doing inside out, is it? Outside in is that that becomes a powerful, compelling proposition to the young, not just in the UK, in Asia as well. It's how we frame it. Because it's very important how labels are applied. Yeah? So we are into sustainability because we are rich professional and that is very powerful magnet. So with that, we need to have new skill sets, yeah, which include data science, must be necessary because that is transforming our mathematics, but additional domains because they are impinging on our traditional domains. Yeah. But to do that by teaching them is not enough. We need new, you need new mindsets. Uh, and we I, I, uh, curiosity is definitely important because you are no longer a specialist, always turning the handle. You really got to look up to see where your ship is sailing. So you, you've got to be curious about your environment. You've got to have courage to try new things. You have to have imagination as well as um, judgment. And then the spirit of adaptability and the learning mindset. That completes it into the mindset piece. And the mindset has a very specific one is about the mindset of the profession that is the actuaries who are out there practicing in their workplace but we also need a cultural change in ifoa the professional body uh, which is led by stephen mann who who is in full sympathy that so so we have really uh, an alignment of the stars graham stephen and i and louis are really in sympathy so we have an inflection point but do not expect us to apply a directive and say it has to be like that because the system uh, is still very rigid yeah so what you need is that we need to dismantle it what he called experiments and there is a paper on this about doing this is the keep grims paper which the atc is debating tomorrow night yeah um uh, which we could have a separate session if for those who are interested so so we we need to uh, to loosen it up slowly but without upsetting the goodwill of many people uh, who has agreed to come forward. The executives are very important, so we've got to encourage them. They, they, they themselves do not want to be trapped into what appears to be uh, a, a, a very rigid bureaucracy. Yeah, very rigid. And it's all pushing papers. Yeah? It's quite scary at times. Yeah, quite scary at times. But it's loosening up. We've got to encourage them. And, and the work is only about to begin we are the foothills of change but we have traveled a long way to be at base camp we have tra traveled a long way to be at base camp but we still got to ascend the mountain yeah so so that would be uh, that is my 18 minutes i got two okay. more minutes for, for questions sweet shay no thank you very much and uh it's a question but i i think as you know across this board you know there is an incredible amount of passion and thoughtful purpose and we do look to harness that and i think as everyone's hearing there's uh you know you any, any anyone who feels like there you have d distinct uh permission for courage uh and experimentation and i should just encourage people to think in terms of trust their own own judgment the other part that i brought out i mean you you talked about football passing the balls and and, and goals I, I often talk about the sort of choreography um still to make things work um but even if the IFOA was was as perfectly as effective um, and change oriented as we like, um, I think it's still an awful point to remember that if you want to you know create change, you need to build those coalitions, you need to pass the ball round, um, and you need to create the right right space, um, you know, in which to achieve those goals. In any case, so you know, even if we were dealing in a, in a perfect organisation, we do think need to think about the choreography. And how to bring things together. Um, we uh, our agenda is a bit shredded in regards to time, but I thought it was very interesting and worthwhile to sort of really think this morning um, about the IFOA and the changes and the clear change in tones encapsulated in what you've just said and Graham's. Um, but I just sort of say, does anyone uh, have any questions or any any quick points um, bef before we return back to the uh, agenda? If not the point, I switch it. I thought it was brilliant. Yeah, uh, quick, quick one for me. Quick one for me. Um, yes, fantastic to hear, Switch. So I think echoing 
Nick, we have got uh, permission to seek seek forgiveness, not permission for what we do, and basically to 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 forge on and try to to push constructively at uh, yeah, getting the actuarial mind mindset to evolve. Uh, mindset to evolve and take on, you know, concepts like systems thinking, sustainability, um, long-term value, and all that kind of stuff. So, yes, very excited to progress further. Yeah, and, and thumbs up from Patrick, and I'm so close to come and see everyone, but that sounds good. Sweet Jay, uh, thanks once again. You, I know you have a, a, a management board chairs meeting to go shortly, but you're welcome to stay through that point and uh, uh, drop um, as you see convenient. Um, what I think I would do next is maybe if I turn to um, Simon, just talk about the sort of, um, we'll say start of session, end of session um, survey and the results from that. And maybe if we cover that, we'll probably take